Voyager 1, a spacecraft older than the Internet itself, had fallen silent. Fifteen billion miles from Earth, there was no signal, no whisper of data. Only a silence so complete it felt as though the universe itself had pulled down a curtain. For weeks, scientists feared the worst. After nearly five decades of travel, had humanity's farthest and most loyal explorer finally died in the dark? And then, just as hope began to fade, something remarkable happened. A faint whisper returned. It wasn't a routine status update. It wasn't a simple reboot. What Voyager 1 sent back cracked open the illusion that the void beyond the sun was empty. There was motion. There were pressures. There were boundaries and structures in places where we once believed there was nothing at all. Voyager had crossed into a different side of space, and what it discovered was beyond anyone's expectations. When the spacecraft crossed the heliopause in 2012, it became the first human-made object to officially leave the sun's protective bubble and enter interstellar space. Many assumed it would simply drift on in silence, fading slowly into obscurity, a relic of another age. But in April 2024, after months of garbled transmissions and what seemed like the end of its mission, Voyager came back online. And the data it began to send back was enough to shake the foundation of astrophysics. Out beyond the heliopause, space is not silent. It hums. Voyager's plasma wave instrument detected low-frequency oscillations, a steady background rhythm filling the void like the heartbeat of a living thing. This was not random interference. It was the sound of interstellar space itself. But the spacecraft also recorded something else, spikes in density, sudden bursts of pressure, and shockwaves traveling through the cosmos. These were the echoes of ancient supernovae, explosions of stars long dead. Voyager was moving through layers of cosmic memory, zones of space shaped thousands or even millions of years ago by stellar deaths. The reality is far stranger than we ever imagined. Interstellar space is not an empty corridor. It is a vast, swirling ocean of invisible currents, turbulence, and storms. And Voyager is humanity's tiny sailboat drifting through this sea, mapping weather we never even knew existed. As the probe pushed deeper into interstellar space, its instruments painted an image no telescope could ever show us. Voyager's magnetometer recorded sharp twists and distortions in the galactic magnetic field, clashing with the sun's magnetic influence like two tectonic plates grinding together. These weren't chaotic signals. They had patterns and structure. They hinted that our galaxy might have a kind of magnetic skeleton, colossal filaments of force guiding the flow of matter, energy, and even radiation. Some regions deflect cosmic rays while others channel them into powerful streams. Voyager passed through one such threshold, a sharp surge of high-energy particles that had been accelerated by black holes and ancient supernovae. These particles slammed into the spacecraft at near light speed. And the changes Voyager detected weren't slow or gentle. They were abrupt. Crossing the heliopause was not like stepping onto a beach where land meets sea. It was like falling off a cliff into another world where the rules were different. In late 2023, the mission seemed over. Voyager's signals became corrupted, its data unreadable. Its aging systems, built in the 1970s, appeared to be failing for good. Engineers at NASA traced the issue to a corrupted memory module, likely the result of a cosmic ray strike. Ironically, Voyager had been damaged by the very type of high-energy particle it was out there studying. From Earth, engineers attempted something extraordinary. They rerouted the spacecraft software into backup memory, performing what was essentially brain surgery across the vastness of space. Each command took 22 hours to travel one way. Yet, against all odds, the fix worked. In April 2024, Voyager 1 came back to life. 
First came basic engineering telemetry, then magnetometer readings, followed by plasma wave data, then cosmic ray detections. One by one, the spacecraft's instruments reawakened, and with them, a flood of discoveries. What Voyager sends today is not just data. It is a living map of interstellar space. Scientists are using this information to build the first ever topography of our galaxy, not of mountains or rivers, but of radiation zones, magnetic boundaries, and invisible clouds of plasma and dust. Voyager has already passed through at least two distinct interstellar clouds. These are denser regions of gas and plasma that ripple like invisible fog banks spread across light years. Each cloud has its own temperature, density, and magnetic structure, as if Voyager were crossing invisible continents. These discoveries could one day be essential for future explorers. Natural magnetic shielding might create safe corridors through interstellar space, pathways where astronauts and probes could travel while avoiding the most deadly cosmic radiation. Even more profoundly, these structures may hold the secrets of how stars are born. Magnetic filaments and pressure zones may be the cradles where matter collects and ignites into new suns. Voyager is not just a probe. It has become a scout, a cartographer of the unseen. For decades, we believed interstellar space was uniform, a featureless void of scattered particles. Voyager has revealed a very different reality. It is a dynamic environment filled with shifting pressures, turbulent eddies, and invisible storms. Its plasma instruments have recorded sudden jumps in energy, density, and temperature, like pockets of weather in a sky without clouds. These features are not chaotic, but structured, defined regions with their own boundaries and characteristics. And one of the strangest revelations of all, silence does not exist in deep space. Voyager's plasma wave instruments have detected a continuous low-frequency hum, a resonance that has persisted for years. As Voyager moves, the pitch changes slightly, as though it is crossing zones of vibration. This is not simple radio noise. It may be the voice of the galaxy itself, carried on magnetic fields and plasma waves. Some researchers speculate that this hum could be a clue to how the galaxy organizes itself, a background resonance shaped by gravitational forces, turbulence, and the deaths of stars. Others remain cautious, admitting we may not yet have the words to describe what we are hearing. But Voyager hears it. And as it drifts through the void, it is not just detecting the hum, it is part of it, woven into the galactic song. These discoveries are transforming the way we see our galaxy. We no longer picture a flat star map. Instead, we see a living terrain made of radiation valleys, magnetic ridges, and invisible scars carved by explosions millions of years ago. One day, interstellar travelers might use Voyager's discoveries as a navigation chart, not of roads and rivers, but of radiation currents, plasma boundaries, and safe magnetic passageways. Voyager 1 was not built to find life, conquer worlds, or plant flags. It was built to listen. It was humanity's whisper into the void, a golden-plated messenger asking the universe questions. Today, it is answering them in ways that continue to surprise us. The heliosphere, the sun's protective bubble, wasn't just a boundary. It was a cradle. Beyond it lies a wilderness shaped by the deaths of stars, by cosmic winds, and by magnetic scars invisible to our eyes but now revealed by Voyager. Fifteen billion miles away, that golden record carrying spacecraft still drifts. Still listening. Still mapping. Still telling our story to the cosmos. Every hum it hears, every filament it records, every variation it measures brings us closer to reading the hidden anatomy of our galaxy. Maybe Voyager is reminding us of something profound. The final frontier was never only about distance. It was always about curiosity. It was always about our need to understand. If you've stayed with us this far, you're not just curious, 
You're one of the rare few who truly listens when the universe whispers. Tell us in the comments what you think Voyager 1 will discover next. Be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and stay tuned with Discovery at 2.0, because this isn't the end of Voyager's story. It's the beginning of something far greater. And you'll want to be here when the next signal arrives.